What's up guys? BTBS here and back with some more FTL. Oh, I just wanted to say, uh, I've noticed I've been getting an awful lot of positive feedback and it's really nice to see. It's nice to know you guys are enjoying this game just as much as I am because even if I wasn't recording it, I'd still be playing it. Hmm. So we're going to play the slug ship today. Uh, we're going to call it the HMS. Scrotum, because it kind of looks like a scrotum, and I, I'm pro I probably spelled that wrong. I don't need to know if I spelled it wrong. I'm, I'm pretty damn sure I did. So uh, yeah, it's quite an interesting ship. Starts off with dual lasers, breach bomb one, and anti bio beam, and the anti bio beam is so much fun. It basically revolves around killing off the crew. But here's the interesting thing: you only get three weapon power, so you can only have two running at once. So what I'm going to do is aim to pick up a teleporter as soon as possible so that once, you know, I can teleport my crew in there and then kill their... Oh, wow. First jump and it's a sun. This is going to be good. I'm just going to use the uh, dual lasers first off, try and knock out a level of their weapons. Right, there you go. Now they can't hurt me. Oh, here comes a solar flare. I forgot about solar flares. Is that bad? I totally forgot about solar flares. Right, where are they going? Damn it! Well, they weren't standing still, so I couldn't shoot them. Get in there. Fix the ship. Oh, crap. There's fire everywhere. Let's just do this to be safe. Just vent most of the ship. So, Giles, get back in there. And we're going to power the dual lasers. Right. Looks like they got a shot across their uh, toilet room now. Oh, my, ox, my fucking med bay's on fire. <coughs> right. Anti bio beam's ready to go again. So we'll just. Uh, we might as well just kill these bastards off now. That was way too complicated for my very first fight. Right, now let's get the hell away from that sun. Please don't give me another sun. Right, okay. This is a bit better. Um, yeah, fuck it. I demand you surrender your goods. Why am I... Oh, my shields are still ironed. Dickbags! This is gonna hurt. This drone is gonna... Fuck me the hell up. Oh, come on! Nope, he's dead. Right. We're gonna, we're gonna restart quickly here. <clears throat> that was, that was ridiculous. We, we need a better start than that. So, yep, don't take it the wrong way, guys, but when I start like that, I am definitely restarting. So, just, just pretend that never happened. So, welcome to FTL, guys. How you doing? Yay, because this is FDL. Woo. Okay, first. It seems like a much better ship to fight first. We'll have to get the breach bomb going instead of the anti bio beam, though. So we'll move that to the end just to make the weapons easier to choose. So, I'm thinking we use the breach bomb on the shield to try and knock them offline. I said knock them offline. Ooh, he has an ion bomb. It's very nice, sir. Very, very nice ion bomb you have there. And he also has a single basic laser. Oh, I do love basic lasers. They're so pathetic. They're brilliant. Ion bomb again. Oh, there go my shields. Right, breach bomb on the weapons. Go for the uh, piloting room. Now you can't dodge. Right. Uh, just use the all lasers again. Try and save as much fuel as we can because it is going to be very... Uh, not fuel. Try and save as many missiles because we don't need to use them right now. This this thing is fucked the hell up so it doesn't matter. Bonk. Dead. Oh, nice. There was an outpost there as well. So there's really no point going to a shop right now. What I do want to do is... Oh. This starts with level 2 doors. 
Well, what do you know about that? That's very nice. I like starting with level 2 doors. Oh, damn straight, I'm going to attack the pirate. And they have a boarding drone. Of course they have a boarding drone. Because they just... Boarding drones are just, you know, they're everywhere nowadays. So what we're going to do, we're going to need to dual laser them. Uh, we're going to need to hit the shields to do any damage to the crew. But I reckon we can knock a lot of that health off the crew in one go there. So let's just see. Uh, those two are the important ones, I'm guessing. So we may not have killed them, but we definitely got some damage off on them. Oh god, just, just go and distract him for a second so he doesn't knock out the shields. Uh, right, get that shot on there. Perfect. Now you can go back to weapons. And this is going to go onto shields and the anti bio beam. Probably going to go for these two again. Like that. Kill both of them off. There's now one person left on that ship. So we'll just get the uh, dual lasers to shoot that room. And then as soon as this anti bio beam is ready. Oh, bollocks, auto fire. Fuck you, auto fire. Off. Right. Shoot with the shields and then you'll be forced to go and fix those. Yeah, yeah, I know. You know, I should have put you in shields, you'd be getting a lot of experience. So, oh, shields are still down, are they? Cool. So we're just going to bio beam the hell out of this guy. And if he gets the shields back up, we'll shoot him again. In fact, we'll dual laser the shields room. Because it's going to damage the room and kill the guy. You pick through the remains and contact the settlement. Lovely, more stuff. <coughs> oh, yeah, we still have this guy, don't we? And, um... You may be wondering, yes, these do cause hull breaches when they land, but this ship comes equipped with slug repair drill, which automatically repairs all hull breaches, which is very useful, especially in the final fight. Because it means you don't have to be worried about the drones coming at you in the final fight. Mm, delicious. Alright, Giles, back to piloting. The only thing is, I do really, really need more crew members as soon as possible. Because just having two slugs is, I mean, it's better than just having two humans, but it's not as good as having, like, say, two mantis. Although they do repair faster than mantis, so it, it's apples and oranges, it depends what you like. I personally think a crew of all mantis would be better. Ooh. Yes! Giant alien spiders and I have the bio beam! Pick the spiders off. What a terrifying... The monsters just start bursting into flames as we watched. What a terrifying weapon. Here, take this for your help, friend. I think he's a bit worried. Calling us friend. He's just like, please don't use that weapon on us. Please, I'll give you stuff. <sighs> oh, right, let's keep going. Uh, yeah, demand the surrender of their goods. Right, if you're trying to escape, why are you sending a boarding drone at me? So we need to knock out the pilot room. Oh, that's not cool. Oh, my oxygen's still offline. Not anymore, it's not. Get, oh, I'll get the breach bomb online for now then. Dual lasers at the piloting room is the most important thing. And we'll breach bomb their drone control. Fuck you, drone. Right. Off with the breach bomb, on with the anti bio beam. We're gonna anti bio beam their sh uh, No, we're gonna dual lasers their shields. I'm just. Oh. oh man, they're so close to each other. That is perfect. No, no, why does your ship have to be that long? No, dual uh, anti bio beam. I might just be able to hit all three. I reckon I did. I really reckon I did hit all three of them just there. Right, dual lasers, knock the drones offline. Thank you. And yeah, we don't have auto fire on. Good, good, good. No! Fuck! Ah. 
definitely need more weapon power. Tell you what, both go and fix that up. You need a bit of healing. And this time I'm going to take power from the engines, not the uh, oxygen. Alright, hurry up you guys, you greedy bastard slugs. Oh, I just didn't say my crew's name. So we have uh, Giles and Wei Xing on our crew. Right, we need some proper weapons to do some proper damage. Oh, um, no, I'm rejecting your offer. You may be slugs, but we are not kindred. We are not kin. <coughs> God, I've got a bit of a sore throat. Oh, they have double... Fuck me. Yeah, they have double um, heavy launcher. And... Right. Using slug technology on slugs. Die, you bastards! Yeah, they have a double heavy laser and an Artemis. This could be very bad. We just need to make sure we don't take too much damage in the process of actually killing off their crew. Goodbye. Yeah! You should have paid my toll, bitches. And... Ah, uh, we're not quite there yet. Okay, well we'll jump around, we'll jump once more, and if we find a shot, we may invest in a weapon instead of shields. But we also have the breach bomb to sell, shall we respond? Yes. Yeah, I'll accept. Quest to the map. Down there, you prick. So I can do that, and then down, then up, and then, up, and then out, yeah. Oh, come on, though. Sector 1, you prick. Why do you have two bombs and lasers? Thanks for knocking my doors offline. I needed those badly. This time we're going to shoot at his cloaking, or not. I do love it when they're cloaked. You can see the, um, <coughs> the weapons through their ship, and they don't look like they're attached to the ship in any feasible manner. It's just one of those things that no one thought about when they were doing it. <coughs> or they thought about and thought, ah, this would be hilarious, let's leave it like that. <coughs> Found absolutely nothing. Right, is there a shop? No, but there's a quest, so what we're going to do is... Ah, I feel much more protected now I have two layers of shields. Layers? Layers? Levels? I'm not sure, would you say layers? Um, sorry, I think I'm going to have to reject your offer. And I say sorry because that means shortly you will be dead. So the first shot can go there because that's what one heavy missile, one heavy laser launcher, and an Artemis. Yeah. So that knocked their Artemis offline. No, nope, knocked the other thing offline. Fair enough. Really, fellas, it's up to you. But I would have kept the uh, heavy launcher online. I wouldn't have, actually. Right. I need to get some damage off. Damn. Oh, I did enough damage to them that I could have just waited. Shit. Uh, no, I will not accept your surrender. I'm gonna. I'm planning to not hit you anymore. Ah, now I'm going to have to. You brought this on yourselves. Remember that. <clears throat> right, where are you going? Right there. Okay. There you go. You're dead. With all the crew dead, you're able to take fuel out of the storage. You also take all the scrap you can manage. I like how if I'd got that one later on, it would have been somewhere around 70 scrap. Because apparently later on my slugs would be stronger. And could just pick up more. But, you know, picking up 5 fuel, that's very useful. That's basically like another 10 scraps worth of uh, reward. And seeing as there's no shop around, it basically just means I don't have to worry about buying fuel for a while. So, let us yump away to the quest. I think this quest is kill everybody on the ship, not the ship. The last ship. Promise to deliver the cargo. Oh, yeah, sure. Hello, Magmar.
Welcome to the HMS Scrotum. No, we will not change the name. It's almost palpable. So let's see, we can actually jump around in the nebula a little bit more before we have to leave. And it's always good to grind down detectors. It's arming the weapons, you should do the same. Look, thanks for that. I didn't guess by the, you know, battle music coming up or anything. But yeah, since you told me, I should probably arm my weapons. They have a level three, uh, level two burst laser. Nice. And remember guys, if there's any uh, ship you want to see me play, be sure to leave it down in the comments. That's where I got this one from. Oh, I'll tell you, that last ship I played, the um, the Rock Type B ship. Oof, I'm not sure if it's the best ship, but it's probably the best looking ship out of the lot. It looks so nice. This looks a bit weird. It looks sort of like... Oh, look at that. Nebulas everywhere. We don't want nebulas, but we're going to be forced to jump to at least two. We could hit one, two, three, four nebula. But we don't want to, so we're going to go like this. Yeah. So, let's go to that nebula. <laughs> oh, that's the quest we need to drop stuff off at. <coughs> and I never accept their first offer, and neither should you, just so you know. If you know the quest I'm talking of, they want you to deliver drone parts, I think it is. And when you get there, the guys are like, oh, sorry, we don't have much money. We can offer you, like, X amount of money, which is, like, a small, pathetic amount. Hang on, I need to turn the sound down. It's really, really loud for me. That's better. Yeah, the guys are like, oh, yeah, sorry, we can offer you a little bit, but we can't offer you much. And uh, if you say no... Like, now, nah, I'd rather keep the, the uh, drone parts. He's all just like, oh, shit, okay, we need these drone parts. Fuck it, we'll give you the full amount of money. Sorry for being a twat. I really do enjoy the anti-bio beam. I love being able to kill off crew members. So, anti-bio beam's almost ready. <coughs> That's these two dead. Oh, that must be a rock man. Hmm, interesting. I like how you can tell what the crew are because I hit him dead on twice and it kills humans, slugs, mantas, zoltans, all that in one go. But he's dead now, so he's got one hit left with the good old antibio. So Wei Sheng's getting yeah, quite up there in uh, weapons already. I was trying to slide my mouse off the corner of the screen. What the hell am I up to? I'm going to be me. There you go. No life signs remaining. <clears throat> it definitely feels like a more evil way of playing. You know, destroying the crew instead of destroying the ship. There won't be a next time open fire! You have a dual laser. <clears throat> well, that's hardly fair. <laughs> Actually, that destroying the crew instead of destroying the ship reminds me of something from uh, Futurama. <coughs> Where Bender joins the robot mafia. And there's this fantastic line, which is, uh, Joey, burn down the ship, legs, burn down the crew. Or something like that. It always makes me laugh. Because it's just, it's so abstract and weird. It's just like, yeah, yeah, burn down the crew. It's not exactly something you hear every day. Why am I pausing? Aw, oh, you twat. That was my shields. Of course we miss. Ooh, we've got another rock man on that ship, have we? Yeah, that hole fixes itself, which is very nice. So he didn't lose any health from that. Oh, he lost health from being shot at. Oh, shit, right, you get in there as well. We need these weapons fixed up faster. Ooh. 
Oh, come on! Fixed up the shields. Oh, come on, Matt Magma, you are so damn slow at fixing shit. There we go, we win. And now everyone can go and fix up the ship. And we need a shop pretty damn soon. <coughs> you know, I was playing the Federation Cruiser the other day, just in some uh, alone time. You know, some alone time. And I discovered something which I really should have thought of earlier. The fact that on the Federation Cruiser, you can't have cloaking. If everyone remembers the, uh, the HMS Greenus, I believe I called it. And uh, yeah, because it has the, the thing that it has, the artillery beam, <coughs> as a special main system, you can't actually get cloaking on that ship. So every time I've played it, and I've always been like, I need to get cloaking for the boss, and I've never got cloaking, and I was always just like, why do I not get cloaking? And now I know. Right, we haven't really got much to sell. <clears throat> no, not shit. Store. So let's see, they're selling drones. I definitely want sensors, but crew teleporters would be invaluable, and a fix-up would be even more so. So let's... Did I just buy missiles? I better not have bought missiles. Right, that leaves us enough to buy sensors then. Ah, see? That's why we need sensors. Du, 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 du. I am in no mood for actually fighting that fire. Not with my beloved slugman. You fucking twat fire. I just fixed my ship to full. Oh, now my sensors are out as well, so I can't tell if there's any more fire. Oh, hilarious. Let's have a quick look. No, there's not. Okay. You lost four health from that. Close all doors. Fix that damage. I'm not happy with having one damage off. Right, now go and fix the sensors, which I only just bought. Man, that fire was a dick. I just fixed my ship up to max and bought sensors. And that fire was just like, what was that? Oh, take out your sensors and damage your ship. Sure. Right, and away we go. So we've got that quest we need to hit up. Uh, that'll give us a bit of money. And if not, we'll just keep the drone parts. Because there is, there is a chance they won't actually pay you. <coughs> if you say, like, no. You find the ship that had ordered the cargo, drop it off, and they respond, ignoring the fact that it's days late. We really appreciate this. And we know how dangerous this place is. Take this Defense Drone Mark II as payment. I like that guy. He is a cool guy. Oh, man. I want to jump to that store. You know what? I'm going to have to jump to the sh shop, then the store, and then back to the, uh, the exit, then the shop. I know it's going to be a redundant jump, but I really, really want to jump to that shop. Right, fuck the bio beam, get the breach bomb going. This is going to be bad. Well, that's a three shot and that's an Artemis. And they shoot the oxygen out. First shot. Oh, and it's doubly on fire as well. Oh, that, that is perfect. That's exactly what I needed. And, oh, yeah, they're going to bomb my crew. While they're in there putting out the fire in the oxygen room. Yeah, another shot on shields. Yeah, perfect. Brilliant. Absolutely fine. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, you kill my crew. I will never forgive you. But otherwise, yeah, that is totally acceptable. So we're going to get the dual lasers on the shield. So I'm actually going to turn auto fire on. Get the breach bomb on the weapons. Oh, come the fuck on! Right, you two, go and fix the oxygen soon, otherwise everybody dies. Are you aware of this? Oh, for fuck's sake. This... This can't be the end. Oh, yeah, you might want to fix up the medbay before you try and use it. Sorry, guys, I forgot to tell you that. Right, let's get the mantis in there as well. 
We can't do anything. We can't jump away. Mantis, go and start fixing it. And I can't just go and put somebody in the piloting room. Because we'll be dead by the time we get out of here. And that drone is seriously fucking us up, as is this going to. Yeah, we're, we're going to die right here, guys. Um, yeah. Well, um... Shit, um, okay. Yeah, it doesn't really matter if he's on low health, because he's kind of dead. Wow, oh, I can't believe I died so quickly. I'd never die that quick. So, yeah, this is actually a, quite a hard one to use. That was my fourth best score. Ah... Uh, the HMS Scroat Boat. Now that was a victorious run. Well, it wasn't actually, but it was a good run. So yeah, the slug ship, kind of hard to use. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.